Hello, Virgo, and welcome to the channel. I am Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning in to your weekly energy read that's going to take you through the energy of May the 7th through May the 14th. If you are a Virgo mother, happy Mother's Day to you. If you are not a Virgo mother, then happy Mother's Day to you and yours. Everything you need is below down in the description box for you and your collective. Right now, I am shuffling for your energy. And we do have the card of the angel of love. All right. So what do we need to see about the angel of love? Well, obviously, this is going to be a really sweet week for you. Um, and the angel of love energy, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, goes back down to 4. You're going to be showing some love in your house or be loved up in a security um, that's in something that's going to bring you stability and security. This is tender connections. Okay. Is what is being described as. Let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this card. And we have, this is an energy of an upcoming um, approach. If you're looking for new love. If you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, this individual angel of love is here to say far greater tenderness is, will be available to you. Either way, remember that first your intention for tenderness needs to be directed inward and compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. The angel of love is, is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. Um, okay, so this really feels like some of you guys are going to meet somebody um, and you're going to make a connection if you're already like 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 the description said. If you're in a connection already, um, you've been wanting it to be deeper. Maybe you want it to be you want the commitment. You're going to get that this week, a very tender week. You could be given more of um, you can definitely be given a, a commitment this week. Uh, maybe Mother's Day will inspire that. If you're looking for someone new, that energy is coming in good as well. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about this. This is for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? There we go. Queen of Cups. And this is she's the Empress in this deck. So there we go. All right. The mother, the beginning, you know, beautiful energy. This is for Virgo. That's major arcana energy there. We do have there's the there's the offer. So it's someone already in your energy. Honestly, we also have seven cups. All right. And it could be that this individual has kept their options open or maybe you have. All right, so there is an energy around you right now of an individual really not knowing what to do. You know this person already, Virgo. What else do we have? Thank you. Death. If you are pregnant, congratulations, but some of you guys already have uh, children with this person. Um, there's been something that you've been wanting um, to happen in your existing relationships. Perhaps you want the beginning of this person to be more in tune with their emotions. Perhaps you want the new beginning. You are pregnant um, and you want a real solid commitment. You want more loving and tenderness. You want tender connections. You may get this this week. Um, remember that is Mercury retrograde when you are meeting new people. I did have an individual who wanted to debate that. And honestly, guys, again, not to interrupt your reading with this, but the comment section is um, a, an environment that I foster for people to let me know how they're feeling about the message. If you think that that section is for you to voice your opinion, it has nothing to do with the message and you want to dissect what I said and then fact check me or debate my perspective, then what I will suggest that you do because YouTube is a free plat platform, go and start your own channel. And that's the best thing for you because it's not debatable. It's my, pers it's my perspective. And when I say, so let me say where, where that is coming from. 
every astrologer that I've studied under, that I have read, and what I have observed in my real life. Things that are suggested or talked about in Mercury retrograde sometimes come out not to be true. So when I get the not necessarily, you're right, it's a not necessarily. What's wrong with me advising you to be careful? And that is what I am doing. If this is a new person, what's going to really be significant Virgo collective is if this relationship sticks after the retrograde, it's just about retrograde energy. The planet of communication is asleep. It's just like when Venus is in retrograde, it tells you not to get cosmetic surgery. You don't want to screw yourself up. It says the same thing in Mercury, but it's because something may be wrong. Same thing with this. If you are getting, if you're going to, if you know this person, then that's different. But even if you do, a lot of the times you have to go over and recheck things that happened during a retrograde. It looks like in the past, this individual could have looked at other options. The energy around you is an energy that is definitely stating that seven cups is here. And maybe this individual didn't realize that. Some of these options were not viable, okay? And as a result of that, it has put a stagnant energy between you two because we do have hangman and we have the death card. And this is, you know, the universe letting you know that there is an energy between you two. And on one hand, it's telling the person that they should not move forward. They should be in upside down enlightenment. I always say when I see this, that the person is being worked on this energy is the energy of death and when we are in four swords we are in quiet contemplation so this individual some of you already know and some of you guys want to take action i'm still going to advise you to rethink and use this time to be uh, be in your down energy to relax and and rest your mind because virgo you are mercury rule so regardless of who doesn't heed the word about Mercury retrograde, you definitely should because Mercury is exalted in your sign. So with that being said, if your ruler is asleep, to get some rest. So this could be you right now. This person could have already came back into your life, wanting to rekindle and reconcile. And right now you are the one that is in hangman and you're taking the time to really allow your ruler to get the rest and relaxation that you need. Um, let's check out the past. Yes. So in the past, we were definitely hopeful. We were hurtful, hopeful with seven pinnacles. We were reassessing. We wanted a direction change. We wanted to reap the benefits. However, this is also the star. So you were hopeful at the same time. Now I'm feeling like this is you, right? Top of the deck does show that you've been um, about your business. All right. It shows that you have been very diligent with eight pentacles. This is what I show. So when we put this all together, it looks like it is it's looking to me that this individual definitely wants to come and reconcile. For some of you, you do know this person, whether you met this person from work or what. It seems like if you are pregnant, I know it's going to be a little bit more con uh, uh, complicated. And so, you know, congratulations. You are a pregnant mom and this is a Mother's Day. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not a mother when you have a life growing inside of you. That's very interesting. I was one of those people who was pregnant on Mother's Day and people tried to tell me that. No, stop it. Because I have a July 6th born child. So I was uh, pregnant on Mother's Day <laughs> and pregnant on my birthday. But he was born six days later. So with that being said, don't allow somebody to take that day. Spend some time and really relax, throw your feet up and get pampered. But back to the point, it looks like an individual is really trying to come back and reconcile. Now, let's take a look at what remains in Major Arcana. And you are another Zodiac sign that has four. All right. You've been definitely thinking about your business, thinking about your money. But one thing is true. New beginnings, Empress energy, reconnection sometimes reconciliation, death, hangman, and the star. 
something has to end in order to be begin again. Okay, it has to end because it's not built on the firm foundation. It has to end. This is upside down enlightenment. I feel like it is best not to make a decision right now. Feel the energy, but nothing concrete. This is the star. Hopeful. Hope, healing, and optimism, and take this time to heal, okay? Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. It's feeling like the person wants the tender connection back. Question is, is do you? Right now, I think that you should continue to rest and allow the time to play out. In a couple of weeks, you will be better able to make that, that, that decision. All right, Virgo, I hope it resonated. Please drop it like it's hot in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.